We know for every action there is a reaction. Teachers reacted to news that there might not be money to pay them with a protest. Now the question is, how will the state react? Oh, here we go. We've seen Detroit public schools closed for protests before this school year, but this one is different. The first called for by the Detroit Federation of Teachers. The district called it a sick out protest. More than 1,500 teachers called in sick, forcing 94 out of 97 schools to close. The union says it isn't a sick out, it is a lockout. That the district sent word it is out of money to pay for hours worked from last Thursday on. By most teachers. Every child has a right to a public ed education, but every teacher has the right to be paid for the work that they do. No one can expect us to work for free. If I work for it, pay me for it. Here's what's happening most teachers choose to have the district withhold money from their paychecks to be paid over the summer. It makes budgeting easier. The problem the district did not put that money somewhere safe, it spent it. The district only has enough money to pay them through the end of June. Now you've taken that money. Where did it go? Thirty million dollars of our pension fund is missing. Where did it go? We've already worked and earned this money, and it's gone. We understand the frustration they feel, and I would like to do something about it. And I understand that they have to be paid for the work that they do. DPS manager Judge Stephen Rhodes said he is fighting to convince the state to give the district enough money to continue operating and paying its workers. Teachers are not the only ones impacted. All employees are. He wants to see kids in class as he and other school leaders call on lawmakers to act. And I will be continuing my efforts to help them understand how critical the passage of this legislation before them is. The DFT called for a sick out. I'm calling for people to call Lansing. The Detroit Federation of Teachers is also calling for an audit to be done on Detroit Public Schools to see where this money went and where other money has gone as well. What the district has to say about that, ahead on 7 Action News at 5. Reporting live in Detroit, the Now Detroit. All right, Kim, thank you very much.